So this video is covering number 22 on the 2017 released Algebra 1 star test. And let's go ahead and jump in. A bus travels two different routes, the green route and the blue route. The routes are different lengths. On Monday, the bus travels the green route six times and the blue route five times, traveling a total of 52 miles. On Tuesday, the bus traveled the green route 12 times and the blue route 13 times, traveling a total of 119 miles. What is the length of the green route in miles? So the question wants us to find the length of one of the routes or routes, however you want to pronounce that. And we've got kind of two situations going on here. Well, it's algebra one. So algebra one only deals with kind of four different functions. They deal with linear functions where you've got um, y equals mx plus b. They deal with quadratics, where you got like kind of that U-shape, something's being squared. They deal with exponential functions, where you have an initial amount, and then you have a rate of increase or a rate of decrease being raised to an exponent. And we also have linear systems, where you've got two different linear equations. Well, we can kind of read through this, and we can kind of narrow down what situation we're looking at. Notice we got two different things going on. We got Monday and Tuesday, we got green route and blue route, and we've got a total. So chances are, well, since you have two different parts to the problem, two different situations, it's probably going to be a system of linear equations. Now there's going to be multiple ways to work through these problems. Guess and check will usually work. Um, but for this one, I'm going to show you how to work it out using a system of equations that we're going to write. So on Monday, the bus traveled the green route six times. So six times, wow, that didn't line up at all. Six times the green route and five times the blue route totals 52 miles. So six times the green, I'll use a little time symbol, the green plus five, I'll use that little symbol again. That means multiplication. I don't want to use an X because it sometimes looks like an X. So that means multiplication. Five times the blue equals a total of 52 miles. Okay, on Tuesday, 12 times the green, 12 green plus 13 blue equals a total of 119 miles. Now at this point, we can solve by elimination because it's kind of set up to solve by elimination pretty easily. Or you can guess and check through F, G, H, and J to find out which answer choice is correct. Um, gosh, I want to do elimination just because it's going to be so much faster. So I'm going to show you elimination first. If you feel good about that, great. You don't have to watch the substitution. But if you're like, oh, that elimination thing did not go so well, then I'll show you how to use the calculator to kind of guess and check through the answer choices to see which one is correct once we've set up the equations. All right, first we're going to try elimination. Now notice we've got two equations here. They're already lined up. Green's above green, blue's above blue, and then we've got our numbers lined up. If we can eliminate one of those variables, then we can solve for the other one. So we'll notice that green, 12 green is twice six green. So that means if I multiply six green by negative two, I'll end up with negative 12 green. So I'm gonna go ahead and multiply the entire top equation by negative two, giving us negative 12 green minus 10 blue equals negative 2 times 52. You can use your calculator for that. That should be negative 104. And now we can combine our two equations. So 12 minus 12, those cancel. 13 minus 10 gives us 3 blue equals negative 1 over 4 plus 119 is going to give us 15. So our blue, if we divide both sides by 3, our blue is going to be equal to 5. So that should be the length of the blue route. Now we can go back up to the original equation and we say, hey, we got six green. I'll use G for green to save some space. Six green plus five blue equals 52. I can substitute the five blue in, or the five for the blue route. So six green plus five times five equals 52. And five times five is 25. So six green plus 25 equals 52. Subtract 25 from both sides, 6 green equals 52 minus 25, that should be 27. Divide by 6, let's go ahead and grab our handy dandy TI-84s, I don't have that out, so let's bring up Cortana, come on Cortana, what do you got? 
here we go. And let's go ahead and try that out. So we're going to do 27 divided by 6. Bring that in view as best as I can. Wow, the screen is just giant for some reason. So we're going to do 27 divided by 6. 27 divided by 6. Okay, 6. And we get 4.5. G should be the right answer. So the length is 4.5 miles. Now, you can also guess and check through this problem once you get the equation set up. So I'm going to pause the video for a moment, clear up a whole bunch of this stuff that's on the screen, and go back to the original two equations and show you how you can use guess and check to work out this problem as well. So we have our two equations. Let's go ahead and grab our TID4s again. And it left the building. So let's go ahead and bring that back up. So we're going to do some guess and check. Our first guess is that the green route is 4.4 miles. And it tells us, again, the green route is 4.4 miles. So what we're going to do is we're going to put 4.4 in for the green. So 6 times the green. 6 times 4.4. 4.4 gives us 26.4. And I'm going to rewrite the equation in this spot right down here. So 6 times 4.4 .4 was 26.4. So it's 26.4 plus 5 blue equals 52. All right, I need to subtract 26.4 from both sides. So 52, 52 minus 26.4 gives us 25.6. So 5 blue equals 25.6. Divide both sides by 5. And this gives us blue is equal to 5.12. So blue, you may be wondering, well, wait a minute. It's not equal to 5.12. It's equal to 5. Well, right now we're using guess and check, and we don't know that yet. We're pretending like, hey, we, we don't know what the right answer is. So right now we're checking, and the first equation gave us blue is equal to 5.12. Let's check the second equation and see if it gives us the same thing. So again, green is 4.4. This time we have 12 greens. So we're going to go 12 times 4.4, 4.4. We're going to press Enter, and we get 52.8. So we get 52.8 plus 5 plus 13 blue, excuse me. because we're looking at the second equation, plus 13 blue, I'll use B for that, equals 119. And that is totally messy. So let's try that again, 52.8 plus 13 blue, I'll use B for that, equals 119. We're going to subtract 52 from both sides, 52.8 that is, so minus 52.8. We get 119 minus 52.8, 119 minus 52.8. We find out it's 66.2, so we get 13 blue equals 66.2. We divide that by 13 to get blue by itself. And we get 5.09, which is not at all the same as 5.12. So since the blues did not end up the same, when we substituted in that answer choice, that means that answer choice is not correct. So we got to go back and check the next answer choice. We're going to substitute 4.5 in for the green. So we're going to go, and I'll just address this on the calculator, 6 times 4.5. 27, so we take 52 minus 27, oops, minus 20. My calculator is being very slow today. And we're going to divide that by 5 blue, so and we get 5. So the blue would be 5 for the top equation. Let's check the bottom equation. 12 times 4.5.
we get 54. So we'll do 119 minus 54. 54. And we're going to divide that by 13 blue. Divided by 13 blue. And we get 5. So notice the blue ended up being the same for both. That means, again, G is the correct answer. And that's how you work out this problem.